In this video, we'll see how to use Gemini 1.5 Pro without any coding knowledge inside of Mind Studio. As you can see right here, we are using 833,000 tokens in prompt for this particular AI interaction. This is unheard of. Gemini 1.5 Pro is the only model that can handle such a gigantic context size without any issues. Let's test it out. Let's refresh the page. And here, the AI powered application built in Mind Studio asks me for a file. Let's upload a file from Project Gutenberg, which according to OpenAI consumes over 300,000 tokens, but the tokenizer is different for each model, so it could be even higher for Gemini 1.5 Pro. Let's open the file. Mind Studio will now extract it and include it in the prompt. The prompt asks the AI to summarize the file, so let's see what it comes up with. And here we go. We get the timestamps, which in this case don't exist because it's a file and not a video, the tools mentioned, the action points, the key insights, and a short summary of what the book is about. This document is a preface to volume 7 of the Cambridge edition of the works of William Shakespeare. That's correct. Now let's look at the debugger, which will show us the interaction with the Gemini 1.5 Pro model. We are querying it at temperature 0.5, so right in the middle and the prompt size was over 872,000 tokens. Again, this is the only model that can ingest such a large number of tokens. Using Gemini 1.5 Pro in my studio is very easy. You simply need to edit your AI and include it in one of your workflows. For example, let's take a look at the backend of this application. Let's click on the cog icon and then edit AI. In the main flow for this AI, you can see we are starting the flow, we are asking for a file here in the user input, and then in the send message block, we are actually interacting with the AI model. In this case, Gemini 1.5 Pro. The prompt reads, this is a file uploaded by human. And here we have the variable transcript, which comes from the first step here in the workflow, user input. So this will take whatever is in user input, transcribe it and pass it on in the prompt. Then summarize and provide key insights, action points, tools mentioned, and timestamps as separate headlines. We are going to display the response from the model to the user. If you want to, you can also assign it to a variable and choose to show it later on. But let's go back to display to user. We are sending as user and the model is inherited from the flow. You can change the model for each specific send message block in Mind Studio, But for this workflow, it's inheriting it from the model settings. Every flow in the platform has a model settings tab where you can set the model for all send message blocks in the flow while keeping the freedom to change it later on if you want to override it for a specific block. Here in the underlying model dropdown, you can see all of the different providers we support like Anthropic, Cohere, Google, Meta, Mistral, OpenAI, Perplexity, and Reka. And between all of these, you will see Gemini 1.5 Pro. This model is a solid choice if you need a very large context size it's up to 1 million now, but Google already said we're going up to 2 million very, very soon. The temperature is 0.5, which is right there in the middle and should fit most workflows. And the, and the maximum response size is the highest possible, which is 8,192, approximately 6,144 words. Just to show you what the actual interaction looks like, we can go in the debugger and check what happened. We uploaded a file, that file got pushed to the cloud, and then this is a message we sent. What we receive though is the full prompt, including the file, the extraction from the document uploaded in step one. And as you can see, this is a gigantic document of over 800,000 tokens, which has been sent to Gemini 1.5 Pro. And again, this was over 872,000 in prompt. If we were to copy this same prompt and try to send it to any other model, it would error out because they would not be able to process such a large corpus of data. Gemini 1.5 Pro is an amazing model to summarize long meetings, like two hours long meetings and their transcript, to summarize books or to summarize anything that's very long and couldn't be processed by something like GPT-4.0 or Cohere, Mistral and Reka models. Make sure you don't always use Gemini 1.5 Pro because the cost is quite significant. You can see that this interaction was almost $2. So $2 for every summary is not cheap, but it is very effective and can save you lots of time when working with large files or large video transcripts that you won't be able to go through manually. Hope this helps and happy building.